Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan Channel, and holy hell, what a day. Have you been checking crypto prices day? Prices are absolutely roaring in crypto markets. Bitcoin topping over $21,000, uh, XRP over 40 cents. Uh, don't mind seeing this, whatever. In fact, I know what I hate, and I don't hate this. So I want to share with you some perspective from some people who do charty type stuff. And uh, let's just uh, bask in the glow of this fantastic day because we've had enough hoo-ha and whatnot in recent months. I mean, really, if you look at all of 2022, just about, it was it was pretty much another dumpster fire of year in terms of crypto stuff other than real-world adoption of actual technology. That was on the increase. But in other metrics such as, you know, price, eh, not so hot. Ponzi schemes galore. Companies collapsing. People getting laid off. A lot of other metrics not so good, but <laughs> uh, this is a day where we can do our little happy dances. But before going further, I do want to be clear. <clears throat> I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this, XRP, again, at uh, just over 40 cents. Bitcoin at 20873 bucks. Market cap... 992 billion. Son, we almost back to a trilly trill. Bitcoin dominance is at 40.51%. Now that shouldn't surprise you. Um, Bitcoin <clears throat> leading the market, uh, which is really not uncommon. Uh, now, the good news is it actually has taken alts along for the ride. Sometimes when Bitcoin goes on a serious, serious tear though, after getting out of some major doldrums, you do see it go and... To some degree, it has, to, I mean, it has picked up market dominance. I'm, don't get me wrong, in the last day or day, well, a couple days, basically. But, um, you know, nothing that has actually left alts behind still moving to the upside. Uh, you've got the uh, Crypto Fear and Greed Index at 46 out of 100. Remember a few months ago when it was at 6 out of 100 and it was the end of the world and nothing would ever be better? I remember. And uh, here we are at 46 out of 100. So it's still in fear, but... Look, when we were at those scariest of scary levels, I mean, I sure as hell wasn't scared, but I made the point that at some unknown time in the future, the market will enter greed. And we haven't seen that, but it's coming. It's going to come. I don't pretend to know when, but that's the cool thing about my particular strategy when it comes to investing in crypto. I don't have to know when. All I have to do is buy something and then do nothing. And then eventually the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, Useful idiots out there, the typical retail limiting speculators that make emotional decisions, important financial decisions emotionally, they're the ones that cause the volatility. And I think it's ridiculous to behave like that, but we're all adults. They can make a pen, make decisions that I think are, you know, based on, you know, poor thought process, because it's not really thought, it's more so emotion again. But, but those people, they're what make the volatility possible, and volatility is the purpose of investing, so I am thankful for them. I'm just not going to behave like them. Not a snowball's chance in hell. Uh, so here's a Bitcoin chart, 24-hour chart. That you like to see. Uh, and so Bitcoin, uh, if you look at the 24-hour low and the 24-hour high, from the low to the high, Bitcoin increased over $2,400 in a single day. <clears throat> now, look, I, I don't know for sure, even at this point, if the bottom's technically in, but like I've been saying for a long time, outside of a wildcard event, I can't imagine it particularly matters because even if we do see another low below the roughly you know 15500 that we saw somewhat recently for Bitcoin, even if that happens, so what? I don't care. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm, I, yes, I still have concerns about the contagion spreading, but uh, outside of that, my gosh, stocks are through. The, look at just about anything that's getting traded. <laughs> like, there's all sorts of if you look at precious metals, if you look at stocks, if you look, there are all sorts of different parameters and metrics that you can look at for everything. It's just it's just interesting to see like everything's moving to the upside. Um, and, and look at this, by the way. <clears throat> Uh, the, from the blockchain background, I actually shared this yesterday. <laughs> it's interesting. He put out this tweet literally yesterday morning, and he said, <clears throat> I speculate we will eventually see a plus $2,500 daily candle on Bitcoin from this range that'll leave bears in disbelief. <clears throat> now, as far as a daily candle, um, you know, I, I don't know that that was technically it, but I, again, I, <laughs> well, I know it definitely wasn't quite yet. 
But even if you're just talking about the roughly $2,500 shift, well, we almost hit that at least in terms of that number, just from a low to the high within the 24 hour period, over $2,400. It's just kind of funny that the blockchain backers like, it's like it's on his writers like something like this would make sense now and it basically happened the next day props to the blockchain backer i'm just saying man uh, and then he also tweeted this out just this evening just a few hours ago he said this is a bitcoin uh, price chart usd he said bitcoin closes the day above the 200 day moving average for the first time since december 27th 2021 so again, this is another type of thing that I think it's worth observing. If you're thinking that perhaps we've bottomed out or we're in that range of where it would be reasonable to suppose we're uh, about to bottom out, even if we haven't technically. And then there was this from Dylan LeClaire shared a Bitcoin 24 hours future short liquidations. And this is a really fun one. He wrote largest amount of Bitcoin short liquidations since July of 2021. So you may recall, if you were around, uh, Bitcoin, um, and I think this is, it's pretty close to the right time frame. Bitcoin hit its all-time high of, I think, at that point, somewhere around $65,000 of memory serves. I think it was at some point in May. And it didn't stay there long. <laughs> Things started to crater back on down. And it was doomsday. It was the end of the world. And everybody was short Bitcoin. But then July rolls around. And you did have a pop where it moved to the upside. And things were what they were for some time. And then he ultimately saw the a final all-time high, at least to this point anyway, in November of 2021, some, some months later. It's just, that's why, like, for me, I just, I ain't going to play these games. I am not going to play the short Bitcoin game and see what the hell happens. I love my unsophisticated approach of buying stuff and then doing absolutely nothing because then I don't have to worry about anything. I, I, I don't have trouble sleeping at night. I just know I've got the exposure to the asset class. And it's been ballooning for 14 freaking years. And I'm going to play around with timing and getting in. I don't know I ain't going to do that. But these these silly humans are. <laughs> and God bless them for doing it. Because again, the people doing the speculation, they're the ones I'm counting on for me to get ridiculously life-changing wealth. I, I'm just saying, like, I'm counting on them to do this so that I have my opportunity. Um, and then there was this from a chart analyst Income Sharks just a few hours ago. He said, Bitcoin. And this is a Bitcoin USD chart. Bitcoin, largest weekly candle since March 2022. Don't mind seeing that one bit. <clears throat> then there was this, also from coin, uh, income charts, rather. It's a, this is a Coinbase chart, actually. Publicly traded company. Uh, it's not surprising. Like, people were <laughs> writing Coinbase off. I mean, I don't remember exactly how low it's stock. I might have run like 25, 30 bucks, even recently. Down from like 350 bucks or something like that. And here it is up dramatically. I mean, just in a matter of weeks, it's it's up, well, I don't know whether it's 40, 50, I'd have to double check. But the point is, uh, it's, it's just so funny. <laughs> it takes almost nothing. Price go up and now people renewed faith in crypto again because reasons, I guess. You, you gotta love the typical retail speculators. You just, you gotta love this stuff here. Uh, and then there was this from uh, Chart Analyst Credible Crypto. This is a, another Bitcoin chart. He said, what a gorgeous move over the last couple weeks on Bitcoin. We are now at the make it or break it level. Break $21,500 and it's on. Reject here and we may get one final swing down, high or low in my opinion, before the real rally begins. Almost time. And so again, he's saying watch for $21,500. Uh, you know, after hitting $21,200 uh, uh, at the moment. You know, we're, move, we're moving sideways the last two, three hours, whatever it's been. Uh, so we'll see what happens. He's warning if we don't break that $21,500 level, he thinks there's a real good chance we could see another low, even if it's a higher low. Uh, but still, he's anticipating some serious moves to the upside actually sooner than most. So I don't, I don't know. Like, I just keep looking back to like what happened in 2018. Uh, you know, Bitcoin hit its low in December of 2018. Then you had 2019, which was, you know, kind of a, Recovery year, like things kind of started to trend for part of the year, like a, a more desirable direction, let's say. And so if this is our equivalent of, of what 2019 was then, are we going to see a new all-time high here? I don't know. I'm a little skeptical we're going to see that in this year, but I try to not rule anything out in crypto. Credible, credible crypto here thinks we actually will. Check out this. So here's another, uh, this is just a uh, Bitcoin dominance chart. 
Uh, and here we go. Next impulse has either begun or is imminent, and Bitcoin is uh, and Bitcoin dominance is beginning to spike off the teal region as expected. Expecting a mega run in dominance as Bitcoin rallies to new all-time high over the next six months or so. Uh, okay, I wouldn't mind seeing that. He's he's <laughs> that's that's what his expectation is. Would not mind seeing that in the least. Um. Man, it's, I'll just say this, because I never pretend to know what, what's going to happen. I just I just think that it's worth talking about this stuff and being aware of what's happening, because when it comes to investing, we are our own worst enemies. And so keeping a check on like the things that could potentially occur, even if they're negative things that might potentially occur, if they do occur, you'd be less likely to make an emotional decision. So it's still worth tracking all this stuff. Plus, even on top of that, even if you got your emotions in check, it, well, k- kudos to you, because most don't. But even if you're one of the people out there that does have your emotions in check, if you're like me, and to some degree, I think we probably have the same interest here, you probably like tracking this stuff anyway, and it's just interesting and, <coughs> excuse me, and interesting to see what the, uh, the the actual chart analysts out there have to say about this stuff. Uh, and then there is this headline from the Daily Huddle. <coughs> excuse me, folks. I'm actually still getting over my cough. I know, I guess I got sick two weeks ago. I'm not sick now, but man, just lingering cough a little bit. Sometimes it's just popping up out of nowhere. Apologies. Uh, Anyway, so the headline, Bitcoin touches $21,000, shattering historic line of resistance and erasing FTX gap. It was the end of the world just two months ago as FTX collapsed and markets cratered. Well, I I tell you what, I I went on quite the buying spree when that happened. I talked about it at the time. I I just backed up the truck, started scooping a bunch of crypto that was on sale into the flatbed and just took on off. So check this out. Bitcoin has touched the $21,000 mark, testing a range that erases the damage done to Bitcoin's price by alleged fraudster and FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried. The top cryptocurrency is up 11% in the last 24 hours, trading at $20,975 at the time of publishing. Uh, Bitcoin's rise has triggered a broad surge in the overall crypto markets. Ethereum is currently at $1,548, up 6% in the last 24 hours. Yeah, let's pause and note, XRP... Uh, currently up 6.45%, and I think when I started recording, it was up actually over 7%, or maybe it was right before I started recording, but regardless, yeah, it was splitting hairs at that point. Um, anyway, peace continues. Bitcoin raced through the $20,000 mark, a historic and psychologically significant price point in a matter of minutes. That number is the virtual top of Bitcoin's 2017 bull run, and Bitcoin's plunge below that previous all-time high in November was unprecedented. So look, folks, uh, regardless of when things really start heating up and you see Bitcoin at 25,000 and 30,000 and 40,000 and 50 and ultimately a new all-time high, I don't pretend to know what happens. But if you're sufficiently patient, in the end, you know you can't control it, so it doesn't actually matter anyway. It's interesting to track. I admit we all like that. We all that same interest, fine. But it's not going to matter. Like, it's a coming. <laughs> like, there's no way. There's, there's, the amount of money that's going to flow in is going to make faces melt. It's still going to happen. There's so much to look forward to. I still firmly believe we're going to have sufficient regulatory clarity to the positive surrounding XRP. That alone will spark some bull run. I, I firmly believe that to be the case, as long as we get that positive ruling. And then on top of that, you know, if we're entering some more, you know, a bit more of like a neutral territory, today's positive, but if we're generally going to see some more neutral price action leading into ultimately bullish price action, there's just there's so much to look forward to here. And to all the people say doom and gloom and it's over and this and that, well, no, it's not. You're wrong per usual. How many times has Bitcoin and crypto been declared dead? Ain't dead. It's alive as, as can be. What an exciting time to be alive, an exciting time to be in crypto. We are so fortunate to be here living through this, right at the advent of an entirely new asset class. It's astonishing. There has never been an opportunity for this type of wealth accumulation in the history of our species, and we get to live through this. I'm just, I'm so thankful for this every single day. I was actually on the phone speaking to my youngest brother uh, for like an hour and a half just talking crypto stuff. Um, and, and like, I always knew that he was into crypto, but I didn't in, until somewhat recently find out the degree to which he's really, really, really into crypto. So it's nice. I actually do have one person now. I thought I had none. I thought I had none in my life, but 
but now I have one in my real life <laughs> where I can actually uh, talk to you about this stuff and uh, share thoughts and ideas and uh, what's uh, what's going on and what's happening here. And um, it's fun. Like, I, I love running this YouTube channel, but it's actually fun to talk to an actual another human about this stuff. So that was that's a nice change of pace sometimes. Because right now, I, I love, like I said, love running the channel, but it's like a one-way conversation other than when I get to type stuff to you in the, like, uh, the comments below and on, and on Twitter. But it's, it's just something about, that's why I'm really looking forward to at some point in the, not, hopefully in the not-too-distant future, actually getting out, uh, you know, we've got to be, we got to get together some XRP events and actually, you know, even if it's just, and I would love this, just chill, sit on the patio when there's nice weather somewhere, have a few few beers, whatever, Delta beverages or water if you're lame. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to drink to have fun, right? No, but it sure as hell helps, right? <laughs> but no, I just, I think it would be a lot of fun to do stuff like that. So I look forward to that, but. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, folks. It just came out of nowhere. I haven't been coughing like all day and then suddenly here I am. But um, anyway, I just I just just kudos to you again for hanging in there and paying attention, whether you're buying or selling or holding. It doesn't matter to me what you, you do, but kudos to you for paying attention, because if you're listening to this video, you clearly are paying attention to crypto in general when most people still aren't. More is <laughs> more and more money flows in and uh, we keep seeing prices climb higher, higher over time. That's what'll get the attention of the people that uh, make emotional buying and selling decisions, which is the reason that we'll have the life-changing wealth opportunity that we'll have. <laughs> but you're here first planning. Good for you. Congratulations. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because if anything I say right, that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan. <laughs>